Hey guys, Erickson Outdoors back with another video and today we are going to go ice fishing on Stump Lake. Yep. And I got here my dad. Hello. And so we're going to go see if we can catch any fish. So, they see something up on the road here. Stick it out the window. And those look like there are some turkeys. Look at all those turkeys, just on the road chilling. Those are turkeys, right, Dad? Yep. So they run across the road. Wow. Pretty cool there. So right now we're driving onto the ice. It's a little bumpy. And we're gonna go try to find an ice fishing spot. There's one person here. Yeah. So we're gonna hopefully get some good video for you guys. So now we got everything set up and I'll go show you the holes that we have. Here's one hole, still needs to be cleaned out a little bit. And we forgot the tip up, so we're just gonna use that. And we got, hey, hey. Well, yeah, one there. hole, another hole over there, another hole, another hole. Four holes inside, and then one more hole right here that still needs to be cleaned out. But yeah, so now we're gonna start fishing. Catch them. So now we're fishing, and there you can see my bobber. It was moving a little bit, but it might have been the middle. And we got another bobber right there, moving a little bit, probably the middle. And what do you have in, Dad? Well, I got a jig and wrap here on this one, and I'm just getting set up with a uh, dead stick with a. Uh, I put a couple of wax worms on it. There's uh, supposedly some pretty good sized jumbo perch in this lake. So I'm going to hopefully, hopefully we can get on a school of those and pick some of those up. Uh, but mostly uh, targeting walleyes today. So hopefully, uh, hopefully they're cooperative today and we can pick up a few. Still no action on any of the holes. You can see nothing there. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, but we got two barbers outside, can't see him, and I'm eating, right, you guys are milk, and I'm eating an egg for breakfast, breakfast, so. So I just caught a perch here, but we didn't have the camera in the ice house, we had it in the truck because it was charging. And but I caught a perch here. How big do you think this one is? Well, it's probably about a 10 inch perch, but probably an okay eater there. So, what did you catch them on today, Zach? I caught them on a minnow, this right here. Okay, looks like a little buckshot spoon. Yep, all right, great. Another one here already, and so we're gonna see what it is. It's only been like what. Not even a minute. Still on there? Yep. Does yep. it feel pretty good? That's a real light rod, so... Yep, he's still on there. Oh, there he is! Oh, bring him up. Yeah! Second one. And we've probably been to this spot, what, 15 minutes? Yep. nice one another one about the same size perfect is it good um. so we got a perch or wall or something going here it keeps pulling it under but there we go oh I think I missed him missed him 
Get it back down there. We'll see if he comes back. Had him there for a second. Leave it down there so he doesn't feel any tension. So, I've been getting some bites on mine. Yeah. And, but we haven't caught anything. So now my dad's going to try something else. So what do you put it on there, Dad? Uh, this is a little, uh, I forget what kind it is. It's a uh, some kind of spoon, but then I got about a four to five inch liter. And I'm going to put just a single bear hook with some wax worms. And it seems, we think we're getting a school of perch coming through left in, uh, once in a while here. So I'm going to go to a smaller presentation here. Just some wax worms and see if I can uh, pick one up here. Can't. And I have the same thing on as he does, but I don't. Ha the hook is connected to my lure, as his is not connected to his lure. So we'll see if we can catch anything. So we just reeled up one of my rods, the one over there. Show it. That hole. And. So here's what I have on. What would you call this, Dad? Uh, it's a uh, rattle flyer jig. Uh, it's got a little noise. They've got some beads in the back. You can kind of... Yeah, can't really hear it. But, yeah. Turn it over so we can see those beads in the back. It's got a little chamber on the back there that uh, rattles. You can rattle that and it's hopefully going to attract some fish. So, right now you can see we're uh, working the bottom here. You can see my jig down there. Watching that bottom. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's attracting some fish. We're seeing the screen light up once in a while. And it will, uh, next thing you know, this... Oh. Zach's putting a minnow on right now, but... That hole right over there seems to be getting most of the bites. So what do you got? You gonna try another minnow? Yeah, put a minnow on this. So what we're doing is we're hooking them right through the back. Ah! If I can hold on to it. Tough to hold on to. Yeah, I'm a little slippery. Let's see if I can get. So we're just putting a hook. Right through the back. Make sure it goes all the way through. Just like that. And you just drop it down. A hole. Currently we're in about 34 feet of water. And uh, water clarity is pretty good. But uh, hopefully those, uh, it seems like we get a school of perch coming through once in a while. And uh, Bobbers start going nuts, and um, but we've only picked up a couple here, so we'll continue on. So, see the bobber stop here? We're just waiting for that to get to the bottom. And once it gets to the bottom, and we close the bale, and then we can put it in the holder or whatever. Make sure you have a little slack. And then you just wait for the bobber to go under. You can see there. And we'll just wait for the bobber to go under. So now we're going to set up an outdoor hole, or like a chip up. See where it's at? There's the hole. But we don't have a tip up, so we're going to make, like, we're going to make our own tip up out of a rod. So I'll show you how to do it. So what you're going to do first is drill a hole or find a hole, clean it out with your scoop. See? Make sure the water drains and throw it off to the side. You're going to want it pretty clean. And make sure you guys can see that. So now the whole thing. So now, once you're done cleaning your hole out, Check the depth so we can move 
the bobber stop. So we're dropping it down. Gotta pull up the bobber stop. Bobber. Oh. I'll find the bobber. Really? The bobber never moved. Oh, because it wasn't hooked. The bobber isn't hooked on the line. So you're just going to let line out and see it pulled it under so you're going to reel it up and then pull our bobber stuff up. Is that good? So now we're going to reel it up. the bobber stop. Go wait for all this line to go. So then now it's all the way down and then you can just kind of pull your bobber up, set it up somewhere so you can see it and then you'll know it goes come on just set your bobber up somewhere maybe so then like when the fish pulls on it your bobber will fall, go down in the water and that's how you make your own t a tip up without having your own tip okay my dad just caught a Huge perch. Show it. That's a pretty good one here. Got it on this flyer uh, rattle flyer jig. But uh, that was our night. That's a nice one. Seen him on the vex. And he come up and hit it. So we'll get Can back. Can we see your what you're using there? Just this little. Uh, I think it's a clam flyer uh, jig. It's got a once again. It's got a rattle in the back. And uh, yeah, I seen him mark marked him on the Vexlar and uh, got down there and he uh, he hit it pretty hard. So yep. Get back down there. Hopefully, we can get another one of those. So my dad caught another fish. Uh, it's just a little little perch. We'll throw him back. Got him on the old wax worms. Starting to get a. Might have another school coming through here, so Zach, get ready. So my ready? dad might have one. 
Here we go. I oh, missed I missed them. Now we got another school of perch coming in here again. So. So we got one going. It's, I got him. I want a little lighter. Well, it might be a smaller one. Bring him up. I think you still got him. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. I got it. I got it. Caught him here. Right there, I want to hold him up. There he is. Nice, nice. little perch. He'll probably he'll be one for the frying pan there, Zach. And we caught him here on this. Uh, looks like a couple of wax worms on uh, just that blade again. Mm -hmm. So, all right. I'll keep him. I just caught a monster, see? It's a monster perch. Seems like it's not much bigger than a bait. Um, got that here. That's a minnow right here. <laughs> yeah. That's the perch. All right, you better let him go. Yeah. Get a nice shot of me. Let him go to let him grow. There he goes. Trying to go, maybe. Come on. There he goes. There he goes. He needed to get flipped over a little bit. And I caught him on uh, this. I caught him with a minnow on, what is this called again? It's just a buckshot. Just a buckshot lure. No rattle, no nothing. But... <laughs> Try and get another one. Here's a shot of the Vexilar and it's lighting up a little. As you can see. So it's kind of lighting up a little bit. Might be some fish. And that green one that's moving right now, up and down, is my dad's rod. He jigs it. So, yeah. So, we just got off the lake, stump lake, and we caught a total of 10 fish, kept 6 or 7 of them, and they're, but they're all per perches, so it's okay, we caught something, I think I caught more fish than my dad, <laughs> right? He probably did, yeah. And so, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.